today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, we're going to show you how to make a trochoidal toolpath. Sometimes you just want a pure trochoidal toolpath to cut out a slot or an area. And it involves a two-step process. The width of this slot is 400 thousandths. So we're going to create a dummy tool at 390 thousandths, just an end mill. And we're going to send that end mill right down the middle of that slot using a simple piece of geometry that's a line. We draw the line down the middle of the slot and we offset the points. There's a point here. We move it to here by the radius of the finishing cutter and we move this point to here by the radius of the finishing cutter. Now let's take the dummy end mill and send it right down the middle of the slot. Feed and speed don't matter but depth does. We'll get the depth directly off of the part with an alt click on the floor. No lead ins, lead outs, no cutter radius comp. Just click the slot, the center circle, and do it. Now that's a dummy operation at 390 thousandths thick because we're going to save 10 thousandths, five on each side, for the finish pass. Now we're going to convert this tool path to trochoidal. But to do that, we select the tool that we want to make the trochoidal cut with. We right click the operation, select operation modifier, convert to trochoidal, add our RPM for this stainless steel material and a 1 8 inch solid carbide end mill is 14,500 and the feed rate is 14.7 14.7. Our step over is going to be 0 .009, which is 6% of the 1 8 cutter. When you press do it, you will now have a pure trochoidal toolpath. Let's have a quick look at it. And there we go. So then when you get done running this toolpath, you will simply take a swipe down the right and a swipe down the left to finish the slot. We hope you enjoyed this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Please call your local Gibbs Cam reseller if you need additional help.